hello guys so I have here an iMac 21.5 inch mid 2011 I bought this off eBay from a seller according to the seller it had no known issues but it is EFI locked so I will be taking you guys through the different solutions that I tried in the process of unlocking this iMac 21.5 inch mid 2011 so stay with me and let's see how it goes when i switched on the imac for the first time it displayed the question marked folder which means that the startup dix is unavailable so i decided to try out some basic solutions i boot the imac and held down on the option plus r keys to see if it would boot into recovery mode it simply boots to the question marked folder. I removed one of the RAM modules and boot the iMac while holding down on the command plus option plus P plus R keys with the hopes of flushing the memory. It simply boots to the question marked folder again. This solution would have worked on a pre-2010 iMac. I retrieved an SSD from a functioning iMac to test and held down on the option key while booting. It boots to the padlocked screen with a field to enter in a password. It is clear that the iMac is EFI locked indeed. I initially thought of replacing the EFI chip with a pre-programmed chip, but I learned that this would change the serial number of the iMac. Thankfully, I came across a solution that does not require any soldering, and this is what I will be implementing today. I have here with me a CH341A Flash BIOS USB programmer. You can purchase one of these on eBay, Amazon, or AliExpress. The package came with several items, but I will be making use of the SOIC8 SOP8 flash IC test clip, the 8 pin to 8 pin converter, and the EEPROM flash BIOS USB programmer. Other items I will be using for this process include a Windows 7 PC and a couple of free software files which I will be including in the video description. I have already opened the iMac and I am ready to begin the process of reprogramming the EFI chip. If you need help on how to open your A1311 iMac, check my video on how this is done in the video description. Gently remove this connector to reveal the EFI chip which we will be working on. Gently connect the flash IC test clip to the EFI chip, taking note of the red colored cable which should be placed on pin 1 of the chip. Pin 1 of the chip always carries the dots, if you look carefully. Next connect the 8 pin to 8 pin converter to the other end of the flash IC test clip. The 8 pin to 8 pin converter has numbers and pin 1 should be placed in the red cables slot. Place the 8 pin to 8 pin converter in the EEPROM flash BIOS USB programmer. The placement of pin 1 should also be as shown here. You can now lock the EEPROM flash BIOS USB programmer. Carefully connect the EEPROM flash BIOS USB programmer to your Windows 7 computer. There should be a red light showing on the EEPROM flash BIOS USB programmer indicating that it is receiving power. Download and install the files which you will be using for the process. You might need to download the programmer files one at a time and grant permission to your browser to keep the files. It is advisable to keep all the programmer files in the same location. Run the programmer software and click on detect to detect your EFI chip. 
If the chip is not detected, you might need to adjust your flash IC test clip and try again. Also check and make sure that 25 slash 26 SPI flash is selected under type or your EFI chip might not read correctly. When your EFI chip is detected, the information about your chip will be displayed on the left side of the screen. Click on read and wait for the programmer to read the information from your EFI chip. The second indicator light on the USB programmer lights up when your chip is being read. And a progress bar at the bottom left of the screen shows you the progress of the operation. When the reading of the chip is completed, you can go ahead and save the data read. I am saving my data to my documents folder. Notice that the file saved ends in a .bin. Go ahead and open the program for editing the data we read off the EFI chip. I am using a freeware called HXD for this operation. Open the data file. Press Ctrl plus F on your keyboard to open the Find dialog box. Type $SVS in the search file field and click on OK. The password that needs to be cleared is stored in this region. Carefully highlight everything from $SVS and end at Y. Go to Edit menu and pick Field Selection. Type in FF in uppercase in the Hex Values field and click on OK. You will notice that the password is now cleared. Go ahead and save the file and remember to end your file with a .bin. Return to the programmer software and ensure your EFI chip is still detected. Click on Erase to erase your chip. The progress of the operation is displayed on the progress bar. When the erasing is completed, open the edited file. Click on Write to write the data to your EFI chip. The progress of the operation is displayed on the progress bar. After writing, the software verifies the written data. A message pops up to confirm that the writing was successful. Click OK and that is it. You can go ahead and reconnect your hard drive and cables, also your screen display, and you are up and ready to test. In my case, the iMac boots successfully, as you can see, with no request for an EFI password. I plan to go ahead and upgrade it and install a new operating system on it. I hope you found this video helpful. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like and share with others. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye for now.